Good morning, Good morning guests. As you can see here, we have a very special guest star on the announcements today. This is Mr. Matt DeCourcy. Well, thanks very much for having me. Glad to be here with Jackson and Gracie to say hello to all students here at OHS, even you sitting way at the back of the classroom. <laughs> Wake up and, uh, and get to work today. Uh, it's November the 10th today. Tomorrow is Remembrance Day. Want uh, everybody here to take a moment today or tomorrow at some point to reflect upon the importance of soldiers and veterans and their families and support uh, within this community and right across the country for what they've offered to everything that we enjoy here today. Also want you to know that I look forward to being out here at OHS throughout the Oromocto community over the next number of years. Please stop and say hello to me whenever you have anything uh, to ask about or, uh, or anything that I can help you out with. My office and myself are always available uh, for students here at OHS. Merci beaucoup, uh, étudie fort, amuse-toi bien, and remember that your high school years are some of the best times of your life. All the best. Wow, thank you very much, Matt. It's a pleasure to have you on the announcements with us here at Ormacto High School. It's great to be here. Thank Take you, Matt. Care. Thanks a lot. So that was a lovely surprise having Matt DeCourcy. That was a nice a surprise. Good looking fella, to be honest. Nice of him to stop him. by. Yeah, congrats to him and Trudeau. Wow, awesome. So, jumping in the announcements, Gracie, after that lovely surprise from Matt DeCourcy, just a little reminder for all the tattoo members taking part in the upcoming grade nine presentations that are happening this Thursday and Friday to get your permission slip signed from your teachers and to meet in the library for the presentations for Thursday and Friday. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. So did you know that diabetes is a serious chronic con disease and the leading cause of death in Canada. Actually, I didn't know that because two of my closest friends are diabetic. Mm, so. But not everyone knows that. <laughs> and that there is no cure for diabetes, but diabetes can be managed. Start today by making simple changes in your lifestyle to help prevent you from developing diabetes in the future. Yes, and a way that you can help, you know, kind of lead yourself towards a healthier lifestyle, start by choosing healthier foods in your diet and becoming physically active on a regular basis. Our goal is for all youth to learn to make smart, healthy choices later in life, and even if you're not worried about maybe getting diabetes later in life, you can still follow this tip. Definitely, I think it's good for everybody to make sure to keep a little healthy lifestyle. Who wouldn't want to maintain a healthy lifestyle? And the easy, I think the easiest way is like adding some fruit to your breakfast or something like that, get a good oh, start yeah. off to your day. Yeah, and it's like scientifically proven, I think apples wake you up more effectively than coffee in the morning. So if that's an alternative you're interested in pursuing, definitely go for it. I know I love a nice juicy honey crisp apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this month's developmental asset theme is boundaries and expectations. Awesome. So being a teenager, I get that you want your privacy. I think we all do. However, yeah. it is important to let your friends and family take interest in your friends and activities as well. Right, so part of growing up is to be a successful individual is to know that fair boundaries are put in place by your parents to help you succeed in life and keep you safe. So, next time your parents talk about the rules, let them respect you and you will be shown respect in the return. Awesome, yes, it's also, you know, a little bit, should we keep in mind that, you know, too much privacy, you know, everything's good in moderation. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, Gracie, you're up again for the next announcement. So, there will be a Best Buddies meeting. For all, for all people who are in, involved in Best Buddies. Every single person. Every person. Tuesday, November 10th at noon in the resource room, room 166. That's today. And we want to touch base with all the executive peers and buddies. So it is crucial Super that important. everybody attend as we'll be talking about the Santa Claus Parade. That's and we'll exciting. be taking pictures of the buddy pair. So we'll see you all today at noon. All right, so that sounds very exciting. Of and course. it's all in caps, so yeah, yeah. it's definitely very important. All caps announcements are very important, so make sure you guys are attending and on time. Remember room 166. So tomorrow is Remembrance Day, and the Legion is looking for a few students to help them over at the Cenotaph. You'll need to be there for 8 a.m. and stay until the end of the ceremony. And I know they really do need students there right now. They don't have of a lot of volunteering. And just as you've seen in your Remembrance Day ceremony at school mm -hmm. yesterday, it is so important to pay or respect to the veterans and to help them. Yes, especially those students who are still looking for a way to say thank you to all our veterans. This is an absolutely wonderful way to exactly. show them the appreciation and you know the respect that they have, that you have for them for you know risking their lives for us you know, today, yeah. in the past, and definitely in the future as well. So make sure to go see Ms. Bellavo in room 219 if you're interested. And I know it's also a great way to get volunteer hours if that's what you're interested in as well. Hey OHS, are you artistic, creative, like to draw, and want to win a prize? The GSA has the perfect contest for you. OHS will be installing three new flagpoles near the front entrance of the school. We will be holding a competition for young artists to design a new flag for OHS once these poles are installed. The rules of our design contest are...
Once we get all the entries, we'll have students vote during AP. Students will pick their three favorite flags. Please submit your flag entries to the large envelope on the door outside room 35. That's Ms. Costello's room. The deadline for submissions is December 1st. The GSA, in consultation with the OHS staff, will pick the winning flag. Crushed it! <laughs>so much else we leave you with this one thing remember think, start thinking about what you can do with ninety thousand yeah. dollars keep selling those ohs rocks tickets and remember it's not too late to pick up your bundles from an ap teacher so with yeah. that we leave you have a good day have a great day remember, OHS. there's no school tomorrow so don't come and make sure that you go to the Santa tap for their remembrance day ceremony that's right awesome so you guys have a fantastic day and a good remembrance day